Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to the garden on a kind of almost nippy day. It's about 59, 60 degrees out. A lot warmer in the poly tunnel. Um, yeah, it's just about 60, 65 degrees, I guess. So anyway, what this is, uh, no, it's not milk. <laughs> I haven't been milking my orchids. It is fungicide. So, and that's what the product is, Thiamil. That's approximately two teaspoons per gallon. And that's about oh, four gallons right there. So I'm going to treat all of my orchids. So, yeah. Well, almost all. Some orchids cannot have this. And I'll show you which ones. Okay, like I said, some dendrobiums are not supposed to get this product. And this is one of them. Anything that is a pendulant grower, this is a dendrobium nester, um, a nosmum, a periardii, or a philum is one, nobly types, you know, uh, lodigesii, nope, can't have any of this stuff, so, you know, you just keep them away, that's all, so, uh, anyway, and also, before you use this product, um, they recommend you wet your orchids prior to um, giving it to them is what I've read about it so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna water my orchids first and then just give them a dunk dunk and uh, yeah we're gonna do that but first let's go in the poly tunnel and see if anything opened up and uh, yeah let's do that first Ooh, it's nice and toasty in here I move a cot in here and nap. <laughs> All right, yeah, we did have something open up. Um, well, the uh, they're not open yet, but the Bulbophyllum Rothschildianum has opened up. That's what those look like. Yeah, that's Bulbophyllum Rothschildianum. Pretty cool. So, all right, I'm going to get down to business. Um, i got to wet these orchids down. That's not going to be really exciting. Um, I showed you how I do that yesterday, so I'm not going to show you that again today. Um, keep it uh, kind of short here. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to try and weasel my way through here, and we'll take a look at that uh, Lelia autumnalis. And see what she's up to. Oh, not quite yet, but it's getting there. Yeah, cool. It's getting there. So, pretty soon. Alright, guys, I will be back and we'll get the dunk a dunk in here. There's those beautiful Angrecums. All right, we'll see you in a few. Okay, so we got everything a nice good soak down and it's all wet now and we're gonna go ahead, let this drip for a little bit and come back and hit these guys uh, one by one with the uh, fungicide and uh, get that going. Man, look at those roots. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, we're going to do that in a few here and uh, let these finish dripping and uh, get them in the uh, fungicide bucket. So, and I'm probably going to get in here also and give other stuff some fungicide also um, as well. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll be back and we'll get to dunking. Okay, for this one here, I had to uh, lower the level of the... Uh, uh, fungicide um, for the simple fact I didn't want all the uh, charcoal to float out of the uh, basket so that's fine you just take a little bit out I put it in another bucket over here my other soap bucket but uh, yeah I definitely want to get those nice and saturated so alrighty I'm gonna continue on Okay, yeah, I was also reading where they said that once you get these dunked and soaked and all that, that, uh, yeah, you kind of 
want to get them in the uh, don't you don't want them in a uh, real bright light or uh, anything too hot I guess so basically just put them in the shade and let them dry so anyway hold on I'll be right back because I'm gonna fill up the uh, uh, put the uh, uh, other bucket back in here okay yeah I just let these guys set for a minute or two and then we're good and then I just hang them up I'm gonna hang them back up over here out of the sunlight like these guys are these have already been done these two have been done so we're getting things done this morning and uh, yeah alrighty we'll be back with other stuff okay somebody also had a question for me they asked if I um, use super thrive no I do not use super thrive no I don't so um, not that it's a bad product it's it's a probably a good product I used to use it years ago but I don't use it now I gotta pause for a second um yeah if you're unfamiliar with super thrive I'll put up a pick for it here it is um, anyway I used to use it years ago but uh, you know I haven't used it in a good oh 15 20 years maybe uh, because uh, for one thing I Rick L and I had a good chat about that on the phone and I do believe I think he put out a video a long while back maybe about a year ago and on Super Thrive and neither one of us use it because you don't know how long that's been sitting on a shelf and prior to that you don't know how long it's been in a warehouse and not to mention even fresh out of the vats when they make it, um, it, it it's in a dark bottle okay they put it in a real heavy dark bottle so it's light sensitive you have to keep it out of heat so that means store it in a refrigerator that's if you can get it fresh I don't I don't use it because I don't know how long it's been sitting on a store shelf you know obviously the older the bottle looks um, the more degraded the product is going to be so you know I just said I can get better product that's fresher and uh, you know yeah but anyway um I'll see if I can look up Rick L's video and uh, I'll put it in the link down below in the in the description if I can find his uh, um, video on it and he explains it also and I agree a hundred percent with Rick L on that and that's why I don't use it either and there's a bunch of other um, articles out there on Super Thrive and why I don't use it but uh, I mean it's a good product probably I just don't use it I mean I think there's other alternatives um, that are better so you know I, I'm just happy doing what I'm doing with my orchids the way they are right now so and other plants too so all right I'm going to continue soaking they're having a milk bath dudes so uh, yeah this is like I said I'm using Thiomel but there's other products out there too like Fisan 20 there's a bunch of them um, I've used Fisan 20 too it's a great product as well um, you know but they didn't have any so you know I know this is good Thiomel is a good product so that's what I got to do this and they're a bit overdue I haven't done this in about four or five months so boom got to get it done and uh, yeah so anyway I just wanted to let you guys know there's other products out there too if you don't like um, Thiamil or whatever you know you can use whatever um, that you would like um, no rules around here so but you know a little bit of you know take, doing this actually is a good precaution you know a little bit of precaution is worth an ounce of cure or whatever it is they say you know so alright I'm going to continue on here an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure that's a saying so all right here's another one in the soap bucket that's uh, Moats Green Goblin all right I can't do this two-handed we'll see in a few okay so obviously this is gonna be this is the last one for the day but obviously some of these guys I'm gonna have to use a sprayer on um, like the arachnus yeah, that's got to have a, a sprayer to it. So see, that just fits perfectly there. 
and the Papillion Ampy. Um, we'll get the sprayer out for that guy too. So, alrighty, we'll be back. Okay, guys, while well, I'm getting about down to the bare bones of everything here, um, as far as getting them fungicided treatment and all that, and uh, yeah, so we're doing good. I mean, a, a real quick day today for me. So, but I figured I would share that with you guys. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment, you know. And uh, I've put up a link today uh, for a seed company. They have all kinds of products, too. Some of it is a bit spendy. Some of it isn't. I buy my uh, potassium nitrate there. That's what I feed my orchids. Yeah, potassium nitrate this time of year when it's cool, that's what I feed them. So, um, yeah, it actually works good. So, But anyway, yeah, I'm going to be uh, finishing up treating all these guys. Um, I'm going to hit the media on that because I noticed some mycelium down there. It's just mushroom um, mycelium, but still I'm going to get rid of it. So that's in the uh, Papillion Anthe. So, all right, guys. Um, yeah, not much else happening. Um, there's the Bolophyllum Master Zeonum. And I'll be happy to share these. Uh, and Sister Kelis Rothschildianus with you when they open up, and same with the Lelia autumnalis, but uh, at least these guys opened up this morning. That's kind of really cool. Yeah, those are neat. So, alrighty, love and peace, keep it growing, and we'll see you guys on the flip side. Oh, we got a new one open. Check that out. All right, we'll see you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.